And now we move up to Mukman Muradov taking on Kaio Varelho, and Kaio Varelho is on the card with the two guys that he defeated in his UFC career, Arma Petrosian on the early prelims, and Gadzi Omagadziev on the prelims. Madness. And now he's going to be fighting Mukman Muradov. Mukman Muradov, man, his 14-fight win streak was snapped by Gerald Mearshout of all people. I really thought Mark Murdoff was going to run straight through Jared Milshart and get a KO, and it did not happen whatsoever. The great, the greatest of all time, Gerald Mearshart, um, obviously, uh, he's got a submission win, which is awesome for Mearshart. Terrible for Murdoff, though, and it really uh, kind of stopped him in his tracks. He hasn't fought for a long time since then, he hasn't fought for over a year now, where Kyle Borelho has fought four times, I was going to say four, yeah, four times in a year, and he has. And uh, that includes two fights of Dana White's contender series within a month. He's called joined the UFC about six months later. Fought Gadziev and Gadziev. Fought a couple of months after that. Fought Armin Petrosian. Three months later, he's fighting Mike Muradov in Dubai. Legends, man. I, I love Kai Varelho, and I, I just like what I see out of him. He's such a good prospect. I've picked every fight of his correctly except for one. I picked Aaron Jeffrey to beat Kai Varelho uh, in the Dana White's contender series matchup. But since then, I've been picking Kai Bralho all the way. Picked him to beat Jesse Murray. He dominated Jesse Murray. Picked him to beat Gadzi Amagadziev. He dominated Gadzi Amagadziev. I wasn't that confident in him, but I did pick him to win. And I picked him to beat Armin Petrosian. I was very confident in, in him to win that matchup. And I wouldn't say I'm very confident in him to beat Mark Muradov because Muradov's got crazy KO power. But I think if Kai Bralho was able to get takedowns and get the fight to the mat, it's going to be his world, man. Mark Muradov, he wasn't the same fighter when he was getting threatened by takedowns from GM3. And when GM3 got into the mat, it was like almost game over, man. It was almost as if like Mukhmed Muradov was, uh, he just didn't want to be there. He did not want to be on the ground with GM3. And I think, I wouldn't say he panicked, but I'd just say he just didn't really want to be there. And he was uh, struggling to escape GM3. And I think that Kyle Borelho, man, a very young grappler, a very talented grappler, jiu-jitsu student, uh, jiu-jitsu training partner, even of Damian Meyer as well in the past, I think that we're going to see Kai Borelho get a takedown and get a submission. I think it's going to be done pretty quickly. I'm going to say first round submission for Kai Borelho. I know he hasn't got a finish in the UFC yet, but I think that he should be able to get a first round submission over Mukman Muradov here, and he's going to really put his name on the map in this one here. I think they should get a finish by submission. So give me Kai Borelho to win this fight.